Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. Hi. I'm Laura. I'm Hanna. And here is our high pressure cylinder 10 million that we use for different high pressure fluid experiments. And it has one major safety issue. We have these plugs here. If they fly out when there is like 2000 bars or more pressure, these are extremely dangerous. So today we are going to see that. Yeah, and that is why I was so, so nervous about pressing the water uh, when, when it was, well... Yeah, when, it, uh, when, when this it was, was new, yeah, the first, yeah, first yeah, video with yeah. this. It was uh, the sm most scary video I have ever been into. Because uh, I made this and thought about what happens if this flies out. <laughs> okay, I calculated that there is still some safety margin even at like two or three thousand bar. But not much, not much at all. And uh, I thought that, well, it doesn't matter because it's full of water and water doesn't compress, so it doesn't store any energy. So they're not going to fly fast. Mm -hmm. Then we crush the water and it gets crushed like 5%. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's, a, that's a, like really, really, really stiff spring, like three ton, no three ton, no. <laughs> hundred ton spring here. And this is on end of the spring. Mm. So if you let the spring loose, it will throw this quite fast. And we have exploded some hoses and other experiments where the fluid has been released, like instantly. And the water reaches something like 500 meters per second when that spring hit, throws the water out. So today I have made this. I removed most of the threads from the plug, so this surely is going to fly. And then I have this replaceable holder for here, so we don't mess up the cylinder when this breaks. And the idea is to start with like this very, very tiny amount of thread, see how much pressure it can take before it flies. This surely is going to fly. And then if it's like something like totally like like reasonable, like 500 bars, then we are going to leave double amount of this here and throw it with 1000 bars until we are around like maybe like 2000 yeah. bars or we get too scared. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not sure do I even have to say this, probably not, but don't try anything like this. Yeah, it says also in our t-shirts, yeah. don't try this at home. This is basically like shotgun slug at 2000 bars, so it's extremely dangerous. And we are able to do this because our uh, bulletproof filming bunker is rated for 308 rifle cartridges. So even if this is like shotgun slug, it's still like way under the design limit for the bunker. So nothing is going to come out. Okay, and I think I made a small error here. I was about to put the head here. But uh, I realized that if something like truly amazing, I was about to say <laughs> truly terrifying, but let's change it to amazing. If something amazing happens, and if it goes here, goes through the head or misses the head, goes through the polycarbonate, goes through the light, then it has the uh, press computer here. So uh, we don't want to do that. So I'm going to aim here. So then it's going to go through the head, through the polycarbonate, through the lights and stop on the concrete. Mm. That sounds better. Yeah, much better. I think we don't need the ballistic protection of the computer. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, we trust on the concrete. Yeah. Okay, the bunker is closed. Everything is ready. I think I'm going to go watch also from here. Ooh, that's terrifying. Okay. Let's go slowly. Yeah. I want I want safety glasses. <laughs> they don't they don't they don't do shit with the bunker, but still I, I, I feel that I need them. Oh, okay, here it goes. What happened? Something happened. Something broke. Ooh. 
I think it, it actually worked like it should. Ooh. That was intense. It took a lot, lot of pressure. Oh my god! Uh -oh. oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. That is definitely a hit. That's no joke. Hey, switch. Let's, let's, let's go. Let, take, let's switch that off. Ooh, oh my god. I think, I think that was quite a lot of pressure. Take this. Let's go have a look on the high speed. Holy shit! That was terrifying. This is running like 5,000 frames per second. Did we hit? It started to leak first, and then it went. Oh my god! It went fast. This is this is. Before watching this, I can already ah. say that this is by far the most dangerous thing that we have yeah. ever done. Okay, and the high-speed camera really delivers the goods today. This is the first time when press accidents looks like like gun YouTube channel. It goes like shotgun slug into the head. And here is like frame by frame. It bounces from the table slightly. I think it doesn't slow it down much. Because when it hits the head, there is like fist size hole on its face. That's not optimal. And it delivers almost of, all of the energy to the head because it stops almost there. It doesn't move any more fast. And yeah, that was about 1000 bars. So we can, the piston seize can take like three times of this. So we can surely do even better. So uh, let's try that. Oh my God, it went through its head yeah. or part of it. Yeah, and the water is also looking real really bad. Yeah, hey, uh, uh, our today's guest is arriving. Oh. Yeah. And uh, here is now four and a half millimeters of threads. It's about two millimeters high. So there is roughly two full laps. So maybe about double of the previous one. I'm not sure how it scales, but the last one was about thousand bars. So this is probably around one 1,500 or 2,000. Okay, here is today's surprise guest, Mikael. Hello. He has done YouTube even longer than I am. What year was that when you started? I started in 2013. But you so are not any more so active than no, I am. I've been busy with other interesting projects. And we have secret project together. Okay, it's not very secret, but you don't probably know it. And it involves uh, Mikael's fancy toy here. But uh, we are going to tell more about that on the end of the video. But now you saw what the thousand bar plug did for the head. The, 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 this killed the head. <laughs> yeah, so let's go have a look what we have now. So uh, we have two upgrades. I have twice a strong plug. So it's going to be 2000 bars. And I put the head like sideways. So now it has to go through the uh, brain bucket. I'm glad you put the glasses on for yeah, safety, safety, measures, safety, safety measures. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you think? Will it go through the whole thing? Uh, I'm, I'm more thinking if it will go through the whole whole thing. Uh, the whole whole <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It's like there's head, pol uh, polycarbonate, lights, and then the concrete wall. I think it might go through the like rest of the things, but the uh, uh, concrete wall is going to stop it. Yeah. But can, will it go through this? That's also quite tough, but I think it's like plausible. I wouldn't stand here. Yeah, probably not the best, best yes. idea. Yeah, but hey, uh, let, let's see how it goes. Seems that I was really lucky with the first one, because these stronger ones, they break enough to start to leak, but not enough to fly away. So we hit a really sweet spot with the first try. 
And we want to see that again, so I make again. Hanna already put the fancy clothes on. Yeah. Can you watch with the fancy clothes? Yeah, I can watch with that on. Yes, yes. Here it goes. Christ, <laughs> that that was a lot more than I expected. I, it's like, well, I knew it because it was going to work when the whole press started to shift yeah. like this. But that, that was a lot of pressure. Yeah, it's different here, live behind the wall. Okay, here is the I, head. I was expecting a bang, but I wasn't expecting that big of a bang. Did it be hit it at all? Is it? It's maybe here. That seems like a hole. I think it wasn't such a bad hit as the first one. Okay, here, here it, it, oh, it leaks a little bit, and then it goes. Yes, but this was a different kind of leak. The first one was yeah. kind of like a spray. This is just like <laughs> blast. Yeah, you cannot see anything from that. Where, do, where does it? No, it, it's there. It's already left there. Can you see it? The water goes so fast that you cannot see like what the plug did. Yeah, I think it's going to be a mystery where the plug went. I'm pretty sure that it hit the head, but it just wasn't fast enough. Yeah, but the first one was deadly. Okay, so we clearly have a winning concept here. This, this is great. But the steel plugs that we have they have small problem. The steel is bit bit like stretchy. When it gets damaged, it still holds quite much. So it start to like bend and go, but before it lets completely loose, it's stretchy enough for seal to leak. And when we have like 3000 bars of water, it really doesn't need big hole to go through and it leaks a lot and it leaks so much that the pressure can't raise en enough for it to like completely fly, fly off. So the steel plugs just won't work. But I have come, I have, I have, I have already bought the solution. Check out this. Let's use brass plugs. I think this is way more brittle. It doesn't stretch like steel. And then I have even these connection parts. I think these can take 3000 bars. So. <laughs> So next week we are going to test out how the shit flies with these. Okay, time for Mikael's fancy toy. What is that? It's a cross Polaroid rig. So it's for photogrammetry nerds. So you can take photos without actually having any reflections or anything basically other than, you know, the actual good stuff on it. And what do you need those photos for of my bunker? Yes, well, your bunker consists mostly of metals and stuff. So if you take a photo of this, for example, with a normal camera, it's impossible to make a good 3D model out of it. But if you take it with this, then you can get a perfect result. Yeah, so we are going to 3D model everything inside of this bunker. Everything. The robot, press, lights, everything. And the big idea behind this project is the fact that then we have virtual press that and virtual bunker that you can all visit and try out the machine. Yeah, you can even visit together, like with multiple people. Yeah, how many people we can now get, like at least 20 or something? I think 20, but if, if people want to watch you press stuff, there can be like a thousand people in this bunker just yeah. kind of standing around looking at the thing. Okay, let's take a photos and uh, then we are going to see like we are not going to probably see this bunker ready on like Saturday. I'm, I'm working quite fast with the videos. Yeah. I'm fast. I'm not sure if I'm that fast. But even if that's still under work when the video is out, this is already finished there and it works. You can pull yeah. from the lever and the press crushes. Yeah, and you can make stuff from 
text or images to put in the press. So yeah, you can press anything. Yeah, I haven't even tried the newest model, but uh, just from image to like item, it's almost like magic. You take image from like one direction and it just figures out what is on the other side. Usually it works quite well. Yeah. And this is not just like small hobby project. This is like proper, proper like. We are professionals. Yeah, this is like <laughs> entrepreneurship. We have startup yeah. company and everything. And I'm part of the team and company. And we are planning to build community on this new platform. So you can hang out there, crush some shit, maybe test cool items for future videos. Yeah. If you have something that looks like this might be interesting to crush, you can try out with the virtual press, send the clip to me and then we can make video if it looks nice. So it's a bit like Discord, but you can crush shit. <laughs> That's a good description. Discord with crushing shit. Yeah, but hey, we are going to throw link out to this old press room in description. You can go check it out. It works right now. It's really fun. And I'm going to let you know when the big, big bunker and the machine is ready. And there is also a lot of new stuff coming. Yeah, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Eikö se ole ihan vitu hyvä? Oli, 